If you live in Los Angeles or are planning to visit the L.A. area and would like to become a contestant on Sale of the Century, call area code 213-557-3555. And now back to Jim Perry and Sale of the Century. And back to a very important game with Mark DiCarlo and an all-or-nothing bid for over $100,000 in cash and prizes. And he is trailing right now. It is Deborah in the lead at 35, Howard at 30, the champion at 20. From which country did the United States purchase Louisiana? Howard. France. France is right, and Howard ties Deborah for first place. And the old song, Oh, Susanna, from what state did I come, Mark? Alabama. Well, with a banjo on my knee, that's what it is, Alabama. And Mark pulls it within $10 of the leader. In printing, what word does the ampersand, Mark? Asterisk. Uh, no, sorry. It stands for and, A-N-D. The ampersand stands for and. And again, the champion loses five. Five American presidents graduated from the same Eastern University. Mark? Princeton. No. Harvard. Harvard. John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Roosevelt, two Roosevelts in Kennedy. And the champion back to 15. Instant bargain. Howard and Deborah, you're in a tie. Only one of you can have this. When you hear the low sale of the century price, hit your buzzer. Oh, one of you might enjoy this. Here's a trip to Catalina Island. You'll take the cruise boat from San Pedro for a three days in Avalon, a friendly little seaside town where just about everybody has time to say hello. This relaxing trip is normally priced at $681. And today on sale this century, it's for only $10. Well, that's nice. Howard, Deborah, no one's hitting the buzzer. Who's the animal? I'd love for one of you to have it. I love Catalina. It's beautiful. Cost you only $10. That's all? That's all. And you love cruising, right? Uh, no, I get sick on that cruise. Uh, uh, you should take it. 100 in cash. 100 dollars in cash? You can use the money. That's, that's 200 in cash. 200. I don't Deborah know. Howard, more and more, said somebody. I'd love for one of you. 300 in cash. $300 for $10. <laughs> Mark is signaling more and more. <laughs> well, Mark's going for a lot. 500 in cash for 10 bucks, going once, going twice. How was it die? Oh, he fooled Deborah. He decided to go for it. How was it so surprised as well? Way to go. How would you got $500 in cash, a $681. This is heavy. This is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a six hundred and eighty-one dollar trip wow. for the value of two questions. What a great buy that was! We knocked the ten dollars off your score. That's all it cost you, Deborah. Now, how do you feel about that trip? Delighted. Okay. <laughs> Back to business. Founded in sixteen eighty-eight, this insurance company has covered the Titanic. Howard Lloyd's of London. That's exactly what it is. Howard gets five of the ten dollars right back. President Reagan and Canadian Prime Minister Mulroney teamed up to sing When Irish Eyes Are Smiling to commemorate what? St. Patrick's Day. That's when they did it. Yes, indeed. Mark back to the $20 mark. This mountain, the tallest in Greece, was once thought to be the home of the gods. Mark, Olympia. Uh, got it? Mount Olympus. Well, well, yeah. All right, I judge I will accept that. Yes, indeed. You've got another five to 25. In 1969, who was wed to John Lennon? Deborah. Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono it is. Deborah first to the buzzer. Off replay is going for that buzzer. He's at 40. Name the handsome star of Magnum P.I. Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck is right in the check. He'll be powered to the buzzer. And goes to 30. Yeah. I don't know if you read it recently, but the highest paid TV star in a series, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., he makes $4.8 million a year. Of course, the rock star Prince earned $17.8 million for his album Purple Rain Alone. I'm in the wrong business. I gotta go. You watch this commercial. Well, since my baby left me, I'm gonna find a new place to go. 